Hi, I'm Nick, a former Amazon bar raiser, and uh, I'd like to answer the question how you should describe an accomplishment during your Amazon interview, which illustrates the Amazon leadership principle, have backbone, disagree, and commit. That's one of the more controversial leadership principles in terms of how do you present yourself, are you firm, are you accommodating with the other side, so one way you can present yourself professionally when responding to a backbone question is using a particular construct, a particular progression in your response. Obviously, you're gonna describe a situation where you disagreed with someone and how you reach the conclusion and a resolution would be constructed by five different building blocks or you would go through five different steps to get to the final destination. So step one or part one is you attempting to convince the other party with whom you disagree that a different approach would resolve their needs better than the approach that they're pushing and that they're asking for. That type of step and that type of approach would showcase the fact that you are customer obsessed in addition to having backbone, you focus on dive deep, you invent and simplify, you think of different solutions to the same problem, so on and so forth. So part one is try to find out if a different solution would resolve your customer's needs or the other party's needs with whom you're disagreeing better than what they're asking you to do. If that fails, step two of the process is try to convince the other party with data and with customer anecdotes that you're correct and they're incorrect. This doesn't have to do with who's right and who's wrong. It's about your data and your set of facts and circumstances are more accurate than the other party. So that's step two, that's part two of your progression. Part three is if the opposing party still remains in opposition, then what you can do is ask them to let you experiment with a small MVP solution, a small prototype that would convince them that truly your approach is an efficient one. You fail to convince them in step one that a different approach would solve their problem. You fail to convince them in step two that your data is more accurate than their data. So in step three, you're asking the person or the entity to gamble on you in a way and let you experiment with a quick solution to showcase them that you are indeed the, the party that has the right answer. So step four, if all those three steps fail prior to step four, step four or part four of your progression would be to embrace the other party's viewpoint. So at that point, you flip from disagreeing to committing. You flip from the disagree part of the leadership principle to the commit part of the leadership principle. And at that point, you start pushing and advocating and working as hard as you can for the other party's success instead of the initial position that you had yourself. So that's step four. And step five, the final step, happens when you find out what is the outcome of the other party's uh, approach or viewpoint. And again, it doesn't really matter who's right and who's wrong. If, let's say, their approach turns out to be an unsuccessful approach, and let's say your initial approach is the correct one, then you should not rub their nose in it and say, well, I told you so, now let's go to my original approach. Instead, you should say, hey, we attempted this, it didn't work out, that's disappointing, now let's shift to a different approach because you want to resolve the problem as a team. That's what matters. It doesn't matter who's right or who's wrong. What matters is how you approach the issue and that's going to demonstrate backbone to Amazon. It's gonna demonstrate also other leadership principles in tandem in the process. As I mentioned, it's gonna demonstrate customer obsession, dive deep, earns trust, invent and simplify, so on and so forth. And hopefully that's going to answer the interviewer's question as to whether you raise the bar on the have backbone, disagree and commit leadership principle or not. I hope this is helpful. Best of luck to you in your Amazon interview. Chin up and uh, stay in touch. Bye.